Hello there guys, it's me Unstable Voltage. Welcome back to episode 3 of Old World on my second attempt at the glorious difficulty with Babylonia. And this series I am trying not to get too many videos ahead in terms of recording. This way it gives me a chance to read the comments that you guys leave on previous videos and if you give me any hints, advice or point out anything I've missed it gives me an opportunity to be able to react to those things uh, and not miss them because I'm already 10 videos ahead. So thank you to those of you who are already commenting on the videos. Uh, to those who aren't, if you do notice me make a mistake or there's something I've missed, please do let me know and I'll try and rectify it as soon as possible. I'd also like to thank those of you who support me on Patreon. I know there's only a few people and, and those that are, they've supported me for a long, long time and I really, really do appreciate that. I don't very often mention my Patreon because... To be quite frank, I don't like doing so, but I got laid off from work yesterday, so any little extra helps, especially if it helps me to carry on with the channel and keep making videos, because the channel also turned 10 years old last week. Anyway, that's enough about that. Let us carry on. We are out of orders, which is a shame, because I can't heal that unit there. Now, one of the suggestions that somebody has made is to sort of prioritise the production of military units so that I can get the camps cleared, and I agree with that. But I also And we've got some units being produced anyway, uh, but we also need to sort of keep up um, settlers as well, because we need to be able to settle any camps that we take. And now we've got problems with these barbarians down here. I think, yes, I'm heading down here with this swordsman, I remember now. Also at that annoying point where I don't have an awful lot of um, orders, so it makes it more difficult to... Uh, yeah, let's get the lumber mill. I uh, don't have a lot of orders, so it makes it more difficult to defend against attacks like this. Now, if we're not careful here, this unit is going to get taken out. I'm going to back off and heal with you, and I'm going to back off, and I think... I need to heal with you, and I just need to try and stall them until I can get this swordsman down here. Now, I can't even afford to force march them, so there's no point worrying about that. Let's heal this one up. I've got to keep these two up here because we've got barbarians, and I need to deal with those. I've got... Uh, not worried about the settler for now, but I do have a worker that's doing nothing. Now, I don't think that's a great place for a farm. We do need another farm because we've got the ambition here that we need to get done. And that's a hamlet. So I could go and build a farm here. That does put me out of orders, though. And again, I can't afford to buy an order, but we'll have to get a farm there next turn. Uh, the queen has died, so we need to sort that out. But again, that requires orders, so... At the moment, everything's a little bit of a pain. Let's go on to the next turn and hope that we don't get taken out by these guys. I don't know how many... I don't know how orders work for barbarians. Judaism founded by Egypt. Egyptian zealot. A wandering noble and zealot has reached your lands from the far-off nation of Egypt. He is brought before you in chains after scaring people with his pro, uh, prophetic visions, which claims uh, to be from the Jewish god. Ask him to teach us the way of Judaism. Egypt gains opinion of us. Um, send him back to Egypt with gifts to their leader. Opinion. It's the same amount of opinion. But it costs us money. Ah, but then we don't get the Judaism. Uh, we can hold him as a hostage. We get to legitimacy. And he gets, still gets opinion. Oh, we'll do that. Fine. So these guys did actually survive that. So I am going to... I can, I can get this swordsman down here now. I don't want to go too far forwards with the slingers. I am going to heal that one up. I still want to take this barbarian camp. I don't know the frequency with which they're going to send this attack. Because I don't really want to be down here dealing with this rubbish and have them send another load of units up to the city. But we'll see how that goes. We do have six orders remaining. So let's go ahead and get this farm. It's not the ideal farm, but it will complete the ambition, which is what I'm mostly concerned about now. Uh, these military units can start moving up. I'm going to move them to here because that will keep them in my own territory. And then 
I mean, we could we could even potentially add a general to the swordsman here. I mean, I could put myself in, which seems a little bit risky. Gives me an extra movement, extra defense, and extra chance to crit. We do have an heir. Okay, um, do I want to do that? No, I'm going to save. I'm going to save the. I'm only fighting barbarians, so I'm going to save the training there. So, in which case, I guess what I could do, in case those could, they come in and attack, I could fortify. I can upgrade to an Axeman already. Okay, let's do that then. We have an Axeman up here now. Great. I need to do that down here with the Swordsman then. He is outside of my territory, but we'll do that after we've fought these guys off. Cool. And I don't have enough irons. It'll take another couple of turns to get that. This really should have been the unit I upgraded, as he's the one that's under attack, but it's fine. Uh, some of our merchants from Uruk report meeting a group of strangers on the road. They are people from a far-off land called Carthage. While travelling with the strangers to their city of Hippo Regis, our merchants observe their religious practices of making sacrifices to an open fire. Intrigued by your own merchant stories of Babylonia, the people of Carthage want to send a Zoroastrian delegation to build a relationship between your people. Do we really want to grab Zoro... Do we... How do I want to work this with religion? Because I don't usually bother with the religion side of things too much. Um, we don't really want to be in a war... We don't really want their religion either. Let's just maintain the truce for now. Uh, recently we felt a certain restlessness. You simply aren't content to wait about home. Bored by the mundanity of palace duties and court ceremony. Being a scholar, you are eager to travel the world... Uh, to travel far and wide to study great books and libraries of the world. Shall you set out into the world at large on a grand adventure? So we, we come exploring. We can't marry or have children. Can't be a governor or on the council. Can only be a part of exploring events, or we can gain one wisdom. Exploring characters will exp experience unique events while discovering the world around them. Let's do the exploring thing, because I don't think I've done that before. It might be a little bit of a calculated risk, but we'll see what happens. Right, we can take that unit out straight away. This unit is fairly damaging, and I can't take it out. I think I might lose that swordsman. But there's probably not an awful lot that I could do. I could fortify. Probably won't be that useful. I'm going to leave... Right, okay, I've got two settlers now. And I do have some orders left. So it is probably time to move up here and start attacking these guys. Should have moved in there with the Axeman, because the Axeman has cleave. But then the Axeman would have been easily hittable by both of them. But do I want to do that? Let me, I want to test that to see if it works, actually. So the Axeman... He can't move in there anyway because of, of zone of control. Yeah, I can't get in there anyway because of zone of control. That's fine, then. I did make a mistake, but I was forced into it, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, let's go and harvest the horses. And then we'll come down there so we can get the bees on the next turn. Uh, so you've now produced a settler, which is great. Do we have a worker up here? We don't, not yet, but we might want to get another military unit. Let's get another slinger. Because they start with sentinel up here. And that will give us two slingers and a swordsman up top, which might, might be enough. I definitely need to get... I've got another swordsman coming out down here. I definitely need to get some more units down to the south. Okay, they're getting a fair few units out now. This is unfortunate. Okay. Um, treasury overflows with gold. The city's leaders call for immediate funding of key projects. Save the gold for later or purchase people food. We're going to save the gold for now. That's the um, Ishtar Gate completed. Excellent. So here's our first... Um, exploration event. During your leisure voyage, a group of servants in the royal caravan disturbed Thracian site, angering the local tribes. Our people smash stone hinges, carve over ancient etchings to steal anything they perceive as valuable. Thracians demand a response. Execute those involved. The Thracians are fortunate we do not dominate them utterly. The Thracians are already sending things after me, and I will be attacking them, so 
Yeah, I don't mind losing against um, losing opinion from them. Can I take this guy out? Yes, I can. So let's move you back over here. I can't upgrade you because I don't have the or the um, the training. So we'll heal up, and then I might just go down after that Thracian camp first. I don't because the barbarians probably won't come up here. I will try and get some extra units. Uruk is now done. Because that's the other thing with, with pumping out military units, is military units also require training. So I don't even have the training to get another slinger here. I could get an axe, I could just straight up get an axeman here. Which might not be terrible. We don't have strongholds and citadel, citadels yet. Let's get an axeman down here. We definitely want some stronger units, so let's go ahead and do that. Uh, we do have a few orders left and we've got to deal with this rubbish up here. Now, if I were to attack you, will it hit both of you? Curious. Yes, it did. It did hit both of them. Excellent. Now, you can probably finish that unit off. I, that was just a test, really. I wanted to see if it would work. So, I'm going to back up with you. No, you, you are in zone of control. You can't move anyway, can you? So, you're kind of screwed. Still worth backing up. Okay, so we'll hit that and it takes them out. And then we'll hit you. Now, both of these units might very well take this Axeman out, which would be unfortunate if that's the case. So, can't do anything with that guy just yet. You will be able to soon, but there's probably... I mean, I can move you forwards a little bit, but I don't want to go too far forwards with you. So, you were the one building the wonder. Again, it's suggesting a farm there, which is not the best place. We have expanded our territory here, so we can get more farms which we will need we also need more quarries of course um we can also go ahead and get the pasture pasture's worthwhile for the orders so yeah we've and um, we'll harvest that honey and then we're out of orders again okay let's hope that we don't lose that axeman but i've got a feeling that we will yeah because they've literally just spawned an extra unit and got a free hit there so we've lost that axeman. That was annoying. Uh, we have completed the um, ambition. So this is our grandson, who's the fourth in line. Again, we always try and pick philosophy. The next generation, you bring your children to the Duke and Princess throne room one evening. Sit in your place and feel the responsibility of leading Babylonia. As they take turns, one of your advisors ask them what change they would implement first as ruler. Interested you listen on curious if either will impress you So the son third in line versus daughter your heir so the son starts an ambition to enact tyranny And this one is to send four luxuries to foreign nations I don't really want to have tyranny and we could probably do the luxuries and she will be the heir. So let's go for that one So that's our next ambition. So up here. We want to be healing up some units up here, we're kind of screwed now because we only have one military unit and these guys are getting kind of close. Let's back off with the um, scout. They might move forward with these units. I don't know. I do have a sling around working on here. I can rush with civics. And I think we might have to do that. So we'll leave you there. You have now completed the Odeon. That's suggesting a theatre. I think we need a, a barracks. We need the training. So let's go work on the barracks. This is also suggesting a barracks here. which we, we I mean, we've already got a barracks, but I think we have another one. Uh, we need to buy the stone for that, unfortunately. So there is a bit of stone we're having to buy, but I'm trying not to go overboard with it. I do have two orders left. So let's get the lavender. More culture and end the turn. Hopefully this slinger survives. Okay, they've moved away. Oh, they've got another unit coming in here. That's annoying. Carthage is converted to Zoroastrianism. Oh, our daughter has died. Okay, that was interesting. I'm going to take the training boost because I think we definitely need it. So we have got another slinger here now. Make sure that's the slinger that I've got selected 
Yeah, this is the unit that's already low on health, so... Can't quite take it out, but... Do what I can. This city is now idle. I can't build any more military units at all at the moment. I could get a warrior. No, I can't because I don't have the training. Oh no, that's the production cost. So that's just how long it's going to take them to train. Not uh... So I could get an axe man if I wanted. I just need to buy the iron. Let's get an axe man and replace the one that we lost. We could rush them. I mean, it's gonna. Be, we need. We need to have the unit up there. We've got. We've got to do it. Unfortunately, let's get through these events. You must be weary of walking this world alone. The matchmaker suggests that it's time to seek a suitable partner to help your rule. So, this wants me to marry a Thracian, uh, or a Chaldean family, or Carthagian. The Chaldean family actually like me. Carthagian won't be too bad. She does have minus one courage, minus one discipline, but she does have plus five wisdom. The one from the Chaldean family is just bad, although it does give us some iron. Let's go for the Carthagian. Not permitted to enter the prominent city court, so this is our grandson again, third. It's now third in line. He was fourth in line, but the, our daughter died. Not permitted to enter the prominent city court. He and his friends spend their days in the surrounding market with a rudite shoemaker and his group of merchant philosophers. Uh, not all education is found in the classroom, so he could become witty, humble, righteous, or bold. Or scold him for abandoning his normal studies and he'll gain one discipline. Uh, it's only one discipline. Let's um, Let's see what he gets. So, our next grandson who's fourth in line, let's go for tactics. We might be able to get some training done. Yeah, I really want to have these units as close to full health as possible before I start trying to take out the, the barbarians. But I do need to get down there. Let's go and harvest the marble. So, it always gets to this point where I feel like everything's now just slow. Because I've got to wait for units to build and orders to recharge and stuff like that. I mean, I guess I could start coming down here and having a little bit of a look. Ooh, that's a lot of barbarians. <laughs> that's more bar... Okay, I'm going to back up from that. I wasn't expecting that to happen. Now, the question is, can they see me? If they come over to me, I mean, that makes life a little bit easier. So I'm just going to keep those guys on the hill. It's only one unit that's down there. And both of those are my scouts. I've got them. Yeah, you can still do something, but you don't need to. Um, you've got movement remaining. So we could go over there and harvest the horses. And I think that's it. We can't do anything else up here. We'll get that axe man in another turn. So let's end the turn there. He's become bold. Excellent. That was our grandson. Uh, leader of the Kassite family has died. Uh, this is our granddaughter and heir. Right, okay. Study politics or commerce. Uh, let's give her commerce. Okay, things to get done. This is our biggest problem right now. You've taken a lot of damage. I'm going to move you around to the back and you can take the shot from there. Slightly safer. The axe man is going to move over here and do that. And you're going to take it out. Okay, we should be able to um, advance on that camp reasonably quickly. It might be worth starting to bring this guy down here. Just so that we can keep our eye on any potential Thracian attack. Now, we have been attacked, unfortunately, by the um, Barbarian. So let's start moving in. Unfortunately, these units aren't fully healed. But if I if I edge my way down there, we might pull this off. So not bothered about the settlers for now. Uh, we're actually out of orders, which is unfortunate. Um, suggesting some lumber camps, some lumber mills. We definitely want to get some of those over there. Get some more quarries. But yeah, we can't really do anything about the... 
workers right now. Okay, it is what it is. Uh, you have completed a warrior. Might be time to get some walls in. Although, again, having some extra... Having an extra warrior is probably not a bad thing. We'll, we will need to buy the iron in. We're going to buy the iron in. We need to get some more military units. And this city, I think this city should get walls because we have rushed a couple of units that has increased the discontent. So we'll do that. If we can get rid of that barbarian camp, we might be okay. Now known as Ebuchadnezzar the Wise. Scientist has died. Uh, so we've just got the boost to... What was the boost we got? Oh, training boost. Excellent. Uh, we can go for labor force. It'll give us roads. It can also give us freedom. We can get a free court scholar. Composite bow's like a long way away. Archive is useful. Let's get the free court scholar for now and we'll see what the selection of text we get is on the next refresh. You're the governor of Babylon. Now Babylon is coastal. We could give you Delva though. Because mines and quarries, we've not got many there, but I mean ships are great, but I don't know if it's gonna if I'm gonna she might be dead by the time I start building ships, so we'll just leave it at that. Can't see any units down here in the immediate vicinity, so let's concentrate with the ones that we know are about up here. Put you up on the hill. Yeah, these units have backed right off. So if I move in here, I can actually hit them both at the same time. Although, to be fair, that doesn't do an awful lot of damage to them, so I'm not convinced that that was the way to go. I think these are ranged units. I'm going to move in over here and just attack from one side, because I do more damage. And then come in and attack with a slinger from the back. I want to try and get this cleared out. This guy, I will... Um, I'll move forward and I'll heal up. Does actually have a promotion available as well. But can't do everything at once. Uh, let's get the workers doing something. So you've got the other barracks. It's suggesting a mine there. I don't really know why. There's no adjacency bonus on mines, and that's a granary. But we're definitely short of iron. Food isn't problematic right now, so yeah, we'll go with the mines. We'll try and get some more quarries over here as well. You're also not doing anything. That's suggesting a mine again. Um, but I think quarries. Uh, we've got a. We need the iron for the quarry. I think that's why it's not suggesting quarries because I don't have the iron to build them. So I've got a swordsman here, um, and I'm going to bring this swordsman down, bring him down the coast for speed, and uh, because we've got the Thracians to deal with, who I think are the biggest threat down here. The court mourns. So. Yeah, that's our scientist that we got for free. We can get an extra wisdom. Yeah, let's take the wisdom. Test of faith. During the renovation of a temple, the workers uncover the remnants of an ancient scroll. Our holy men interpret the scroll and find they're in the tenets of a great city. This lost book of law describes a utopian society. Our ministers advise against rash action, but worry this is a test of faith. Will you spread the word of this new faith or keep the codes to yourself? So we can found a religion in Uruk... Or start an ambition to enact monotheism. Monotheism. Monothe monotheism. Monotheism. There we go. i get it right in a minute. Um, I know. I think we found a religion. There we go. We now have our own religion. We've got Christianity. I know we could have started another ambition there, but that doesn't really matter all that much. So some stuff about Christianity. Christianity um, plus 40 opinion for 40 years, but gets some discontent in Uruk. Uh, we can get a discipline. Or Christianity can lose some opinion. I think we just take the discipline, actually. The, the money's always useful. Um, we're out of order, so you can't move any further. So we are out of orders. We can't do anything more. Let's end the turn. That was supposed to be the end of the video, but you know how it goes. One more turn and all that. Okay, so taking a bit of a bashing up there. So this is our grandson third in line. Astronomy, astronomy has been practiced in Babylonia since the days of our ancestors. He's been trying to study the stars and comes to us in excitement. 
claiming to have predicted a rare eclipse of the sun. So he, um, we can get 210 civics, and he becomes influenced by us. Get 210 civics either way. Or 34 civics. We'll take 210 civics. Let's do it that way. Um, yeah, let's just finish these up before I end the video. I'm going to give you your promotion. Let's give you focus. Let's clear this camp out. Camp is now ours. Don't know which would be the best tile to grab. So I'm honestly just going to grab this one. Now this is going to be coastal. Now there's one seat that we haven't got. Which is... We haven't got either of these. So this one gives us more science. And this one... Um, family units can add multiple roads per year. Don't think we're going to have any bullion here. I think we're going to go for the uh, Amorite Sages again. There we go. So this is definitely the top of the island now. I wish I'd have got the one with nets now. Look at all of these pearls we're going to have. It'll be fine though. Uh, so we know that this is the top of our island. So we don't have to worry too much up here. We will keep some units back of course. Because you never know when you're going to be attacked by uh, barbarians from over the sea. So this city can actually just get a worker. And now we need to concentrate on... Well, heading back south, I guess. You got your promotion. So I'm going to move you down here to within my own borders. And I'm going to heal. And you can come down to fight the Thracians. Now, speaking of the Thracians. Or at least the Barbarians. I do not know where they are. Now I do. So let's see if they move towards us. Could potentially go up here and get the horses again. But I think it might be worth just keeping my eye on uh, on the Thracians down here. See if they start coming towards me. Uh, but now I'm out of orders, so I'm going to end the video there. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope you are still enjoying this series. Yes, I do know that I have uh, a luxury there that I haven't given away yet. But I will, um, I will do that because I need to get the uh, ambition done. Uh, so yes, um, please do leave your comments below and I'll try and act on them within the next video or two depending on how far ahead I am in the recording and I will see you next time. So until then, goodbye for now.